Hello students, welcome back to maths class. So, we are doing now subtangent, uh, subnormal, right? Tangent, length of the tangent, length of the normal, length of subtangent, length of subnormal problems, okay? So, from exercise 10c, we are doing these problems. So, already you know the formulas for all these four, right? So, there only I said to you, these formulas are entirely depends on y dash, right? y dash means nothing but dy by dx. So, to get all these four values, length of the tangent, length of the normal, length of the subtangent, length of the subnormal, first of all, we need y dash value, that means dy by dx value. So, come on, come to this question, most repeated 7 mass question, this one, right? So, observe at any point on the curve, x is given to you and y is given to you. Find the length of the tangent, normal, length of subtangent, length of the subnormal. Actually, it is length of tangent, length of normal, length of subtangent, length of subnormal. We have to find for this question. So, what I said, all these formulas are with respect to y dash. Right. So, y dash means dy by dx. Okay. So, to get our dy by dx, if you observe the problem, one value is x is equal to some equation in terms of t. That means, if x is given in terms of t, similarly y is given in terms of t. So, parametric differentiation we have to go for. Differentiate x with respect to t dx by dt, differentiate y with respect to t, dy by dt. After that, you divide dy by dt by dx by dt, then you will get your dy by dx, that is nothing but your y dash, okay. So, that is the procedure. First, try to get your y dash. Once we got, we will find all our required things. So, come on, first, what is the given information to us? It is given that x is equal to a into t plus sin t is given to you. So, x is in terms of t. So, we can differentiate with respect to t only, right? So, it is d by dt of a into t plus sin t. Okay, so a outside then it is d by dt of two terms are there we have to take separately plus d by dt of sin t. Okay, so a into d by dt of t is 1 plus d by dt of sin t is cos t. Okay, so this is your dx by dt. Okay, so in trigonometry there is two formulas for cos 2 theta. What is that? Cos 2 theta is equal to 1 is 2 cos square theta minus 1. Bring 1 this side, then what happens? It will be 1 plus cos 2 theta is equal to 2 cos square theta. Okay, this is one formula. And another formula is also there in trigonometry with respect to cos 2 theta that is 1 minus 2 sin square theta. So, bring the 2 sin square theta this side then what happens 2 sin square theta is equal to you will have 1 minus cos 2 theta. So, we will apply these formulas while dealing these values 1 plus cos t is there we can apply that to cos square theta while taking the values ok. So, this is dx by dt. Now, you take your y value otherwise here only you can write a into 1 plus cos of t can be written as 2 t by 2 can we write multiplying and dividing with 2. So, now it is exactly in the form of 1 plus cos 2 theta that is 2 cos square theta. So, is equal to a into it is 2 cos square in theta place we are having t by 2 ok. So, is equal to it is 2 a 
का स्क्वायर टी बाय टू ए जी वा डी एक्स बाय डी टी नाउ यू टेक वा वाई वैल्यू वाई इज इक्वल टू व्हाट इज द वैल्यू वाई इज इक्वल टू ए इनटू वन माइनस cos t so y value is in terms of t so differentiate with respect to t then what happens it is dy by dt we will find so is equal to it is d by dt of a into 1 minus cos t okay so a can be taken outside d by dt of 1 minus cos t okay so is equal to a into whenever plus minus we will take separate d by dt of 1 minus d by dt of cos t okay so is equal to a into 0 minus d by dt of cos minus sin isn't it minus sin t okay minus of minus plus so it is a sin t we can write a sin t as a sin 2t by 2 can we write yes same thing actually we are converting the values in terms of t by 2 right so then what happens to here dy by dt dy by dt is equal to come on a into sin 2 theta sin 2 theta in trigonometry 2 sin theta cos theta so it is 2 sin of t by 2 into cos t by 2 okay now you find out your y dash what is your y dash y dash is equal to dy by dx what is our dy by dx we can take this as dy by dt by dx by dt so is equal to dy by dt how we can take a into 2 sin t by 2 into cos t by 2 okay so divided by dx by dt so what is our dx by dt it is a 2a cos square t by 2 so 2a 2a cancel right and uh, one cos will get cancel you are having sin t by 2 by cos t by 2 this is your y dash so nothing but tan t by 2 okay so we got our y dash value once we got y dash we have to find all the required things so what is the first one first one is length of tangent come on take length of tangent length of tangent formula what is the formula is equal to modulus of y into root of 1 plus y dash square by y dash okay so is equal to modulus of y what is our y value a into 1 minus cos t right this is our y okay y is equal to a into 1 minus cos t into root of 1 plus y dash that is tan square t by 2 by tan t by 2 okay so this is the modulus so 1 minus cos t so come on 1 minus cos 2t is equal to 2 sin square t so we can write this as a into 1 minus cos 2t by 2 we will write okay so this is secant square t by 2 okay root by tan t by 2 so square square root will get cancel is equal to modulus of a into 1 minus cos 2 theta is 2 sin square theta to so it is 2 sin square theta please we are having 
t by 2 secant t by 2 means 1 by cos t by 2 by tan t by 2 means it is sin t by 2 by cos t by 2 ok cos t by 2 cos t by 2 cancel 1 sin t by 2 also cancel so you are having 2a sin t by 2 that is your length of the tangent ok next you find out length of normal ok so come on we will find length of normal so what is the formula for length of normal so length of normal is equal to it is modulus of y into root of 1 plus y dash square so is equal to modulus of y what is y it is a into 1 minus cos t right and it is root of 1 plus come on it is tan square t by 2 so is equal to a into already we have taken 1 minus cos t as 2 sin square t by 2 so you take 2 sin square t by 2 and this is secant square isn't it secant square t by 2 right root square square root cancels so is equal to it is a into 2 sin square t by 2 into secant is what is the value 1 by cos t by 2 ok so is equal to we can write this as 2a sin t by 2 into one more sin t by 2 we will take with cos right cos t by 2 ok so sin square t by 2 so one value and another value with cos we have taken so what will be your value it is 2a sin t by 2 into tan t by 2 it is tan t by 2 is the length of normal next you take length of subtangent right subtangent is equal to what is the formula it is modulus of y by y dash so y what is y value it is a into 1 minus cos t is y value by y dash we got y dash is tan t by 2 isn't it tan of t by 2 so is equal to a into come on this is 2 sin square t by 2 by sin t by 2 by cos t by 2 tan t by 2 means sin by cos ok so is equal to it is 2a one sign will get cancelled this cos goes upwards so it is sin t by 2 into cos t by 2 ok 2 sin theta cos theta better you write a into 2 here 2 sin theta cos theta is sin 2 theta so is equal to we can write a into sin 2 t by 2 2 to cancel is equal to it is a sin t is the answer ok so this is the length of subtangent next you take length of subnormal ok length of subnormal what is the formula it is modulus of y into y dash so is equal to a into 1 minus cos t into what is that tan of t by 2 ok is equal to a into 2 sin square t by 2 into tan t by 2 here no term will get cancelled keep this value as it is ok 
सो दिस इज इवर मोस्ट रिपीटेड सेवन मार्क्स क्वेश्चन सो अब्जर्व हियर we have taken two trigonometric formulas one formula is cos 2 theta is equal to 2 cos square theta minus 1 if we bring the one this side 1 plus cos 2 theta is equal to 2 cos square theta similarly cos 2 theta is equal to 1 minus 2 sin square theta bring this negative value this side 2 sin square theta is equal to 1 minus cos 2 theta that means suppose we are having 1 plus cos 2 theta we have to take 2 cos square theta suppose 1 minus cos 2 theta we have to take 2 sin square theta okay so here we are having two values x value in terms of t y value in terms of t we have to find length of the tangent length of the normal length of subtangent length of subnormal so all the formulas if you observe length of the tangent is this one right length of the normal is that one and length of subtangent y by y dash length of subnormal y into y dash so length of tangent this one modulus of y into root of 1 plus y dash square by y dash length of normal modulus of y into root of 1 plus y dash square that means all the four formulas entirely depends on y dash okay so what is y dash y dash is nothing but dy by dx so first of all we need a dy by dx to get our required values so how we will get to dy by dx when two equations are given to us so go to your differentiation there i said when two values are given go for parametric differentiation so differentiate x with respect to t dx by dt differentiate y with respect to t that is dy by dt once you got dx by dt right so this is your dx by dt right and this is your dy by dt so once we got these two values we want dy by dx so dy by dt by dx by dt we have to find okay so t dt dt will get cancel with that we got tan of t by 2 so y dash value once we got it then you take your length of the tangent so length of the tangent formula is modulus of y into root of 1 plus y dash square by y dash so we got y dash value is tan of isn't it t by 2 so substitute and this is c 1 minus cos 2 theta form 1 minus cos 2 theta in theta plus it is formula right i said all formulas will be general forms instead of theta we can have any value so instead of theta we are having t by 2 so it is of the form 1 minus cos 2 theta so 1 minus cos 2 theta is equal to 2 sin square theta so 2 sin square in theta plus you are having t by 2 okay and you know that by trigonometry 1 plus tan square is secant square 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 root will get cancel and secant is reciprocal for cos secant can be written as 1 by cos so 1 by cos t by 2 right and tan can be written as sin by cos this cos this cos cancels and one sin also cancel so this is the equation length of the tangent okay next length of normal so length of the normal is modulus of y into root of 1 plus y dash square okay so same thing we applied same formula there okay and it came in the form of 2 sin theta cos theta form right so whenever it is 2 sin theta cos theta form sin 2 theta we have to take okay so length of subtangent length of subnormal so thing is first you find out your y dash value once you got y dash we can find all the four values right sometimes they will ask only two length of the tangent length of the normal or sometimes length of the tangent length of subtangent like that also they can ask so very rarely they will ask all the four but if you are perfect with all the four you can do any two very easily okay so don't give up this problem just by seeing it is lengthy and so many trigonometric formulas are there no 
it is very simple problem if you start doing you will get it right. So, we used two formulas cos 2 theta right is having two formulas. So, 1 plus cos 2 theta is there 2 cos square theta 1 minus cos 2 theta is there it is equals to 2 sin square theta ok. Practice this problem most repeated 7 marks problem for the board exam ok. So, make it perfect ok. So, that is all for today have a nice day.